Hello everyone, welcome to the Nick and Aiden YouTube channel. I'm Nick and every so often we're going to do a tech video tutorial. This one particular one's going to be on Windows 11. We're going to do some emulation setting up as well. Um, I'd like to focus on Windows 11 today because it is the latest operating system by Microsoft. Um, a lot of people may not want to upgrade to it because of the current stories that goes around some bug issues with Windows 11. Um, there has been some performance issues with uh, Ryzen processors. I, I believe. I don't know whether they're fixed as of yet. Um, or the reason why you might not be upgrading is because of the whole cosmetic side of Windows 11. Here we've got everything in the middle here. It, it all came, seems kind of foreign for Microsoft, Microsoft users. And as we can see from this new you know, start menu, it's some people will like it. Me personally, I do not like this, especially when you have a fresh install and it's kind of put stuff in there that you will never need. And they're not installed. They're just like pinned kind of advertisements, which I have read stories that Microsoft every so often they'll, throw another kind of app in here or whoever's paid them and that'll be pinned in this section so i mean we have to we have to go into another click to get all our apps here it is not really my my favorite sort of style this i do prefer the windows 10 look um also The right click menu, they have improved it somewhat, but I still prefer this one. Very straightforward, can't go wrong. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to change our start menu and go back to a more classic approach. So, for this, we're going to install OpenShell. Um, this is the web address here. It's easily findable um, on Google. And what you're going to need is the nightly builds. Because as you can see from this version here two days ago, uh, two days ago as of recording this video. They've only just added the Windows 11 start button support. So you're going to want the latest version in Nightly. You click on Assets and download the executable. And we will install. This will take just a brief moment. And there we go. So that's installed. I believe when we click here, now we now instead of getting any kind of pop-up from the start menu, it, it goes straight into the open shell menu where we can customize how it looks. So uh, that's a very, very old... God, when, when did the last time did they use that setup? That's where it kind of, you hover over programs and extends out here. My personal favorite is the Windows 7 look kind of hasn't changed all the way up till Windows 11, the, this kind of actual style. So we're going to go Windows 7 style, 
Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to change here. And we're going to click OK. So now that is something I much prefer. That looks a lot better to me. Now, I don't like the centered look. So we're going to go. So, how did that right click down here? Taskbar settings, and we're going to scroll down to taskbar behaviors. And we're going to push that to the left. So now we've got something quite quite familiar. So that is job done. And now we're just going to have a, a tiny bit of a play. So, so obviously this is um, recent apps here, all programs, and then we've got our shortcuts to control panel, my PC and other folders here. Now we can we can have a little play with this. If you go to the open shell, open shell, open shell menu settings. And okay, so you can change it from frequent programs to recent programs. That's what would appear here. That is totally your preference. And then we can customize the start menu. And ah, we can insert new item. Okay. Custom. Hmm. How does that work? So there's menu. Edit item. Okay. Uh, link. Let's just say. C drive. And or just do C. And display that as a link. Okay. And that opens C up. So I think we can we can play about with it and move this up. So it's just under this PC, maybe. Let's see if we can just tidy that up. So go back into here. Um, ah, we can move up. All right. I want it just there. Okay. And you can just create little little shortcuts. So this can be this start menu, the one click can be your easy access to everything. So get it installed and have a play. And now we're going to basically uh, restore the right click context menu from this and so we've only got that so when we get the right click we'll just get this one instead of the new style and the way we're going to do this is there is a great utility um, built by Chris Titus. You need to check him out on YouTube. Um, a very skillful guy. And himself and uh, the aid of his um, followers have come up with a Windows utility tool, which can restore the right click, context menu, 
And we can also get rid of a lot of the crappy services that are running in the background that we don't need to free up resources. So this is the command that we're going to need here, which I'll also put down in the description. And we are going to do this via PowerShell. We need to right click on PowerShell, run as administrator. And then we're going to paste that command in there. And there we go. Um, if you check his channel out, he'll explain all of this. This is just some a way of quick stalling some utilities all in one go. We're not interested in that. We're going to go to tweaks. So the tweaks that I'd recommend, I personally like the dark theme. Um, you can add ultimate performance profile to your power management which is worth a look. Um, so what we're going to do here, in fact, we'll do the recommended for this machine, which is desktop. Um, I don't need a restore point. Oh, no, shut up. That is basically deactivating some of the uh, components of Windows 11, which uh, basically improves your your privacy somewhat. So we're going to do that. We're going to disable telemetry, all the callbacks to Microsoft, um, location tracking, storage sense, hibernation, game DB. Yeah, we don't use that. If you use any of these, simply just untick it. So that looks all good. And then on the MISC tweaks, I personally like to see the file extensions, set the display for performance, uh, set classic, right click menu. If you wish, you can uninstall Microsoft Edge. Remove Cortana, remove the MS Store apps, and I think we are good to go. So we're going to run that, and that is going to do its thing here. And that is done. Now, I don't know if we need to reboot. Yeah, that same menu is appearing, so we're just going to have a quick reboot. And we'll see whether we've got our right-click context menu back. Here we go. There we are. Right, let's give it a go. And there we go. That is a classic look. It almost makes Windows 11 worth upgrading to, just, just to change it all back. But yeah, if you're if you're interested into basically having a more a more Windows 10 styled theme on your Windows 11, those are the easy steps to follow. I'll leave as much information as I can in the description just so you don't get stuck anywhere. And that is it. I'll catch you next time.
Laters.